Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. DEFG shaded is a square inscribed in triangle ABC. AP is the altitude of the triangle. If AP is equal to 4 and BP is equal to 5 and PC is equal to 3, what is the area of square DEFG? We start by labeling in the figure the lengths that are given and these lengths are BP that's equal to 5, PC that's equal to 3 and then the altitude of the triangle AP that's equal to 4. Next, we consider some of the lengths that are unknown, but that will be important to find for solving the problem. And the first one, of course, is the length of each side of the square DEFG, because that's kind of key to finding the area of the square, right? And let's denote that length by D. So we'll have the side DE equal to D small d, so that's the length of each side of the square. And similarly, side gf will be also d, and so will be the adjacent side ef, that will be also d. We also have two other unknown lengths, and these are be, and we'll let be be equal to y, and the other unknown length that will figure in the problem is FC, which we just call as Z. Next, we consider from this figure triangle DEB. So that's this triangle DEB and triangle APB. Triangle APB. Now, in these two triangles, for example, in triangle DEB, angle DEB, this angle is 90 degree because DE is perpendicular to BC, right, being a square. And then AP is given as the altitude, so angle APB must be also 90 degrees. So these two corresponding angles of the triangles, DEB and APB, are equal. And they also have a common angle, and that common angle is basically angle B. So angle DBE and angle ABP are the two corresponding angles of these two triangles, which obviously are equal because it's a common angle, right? And when two triangles have two of their corresponding angles, same, then we know that those triangles are similar. So triangle DEB and triangle APB are similar and similar triangles have this property that ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So if we consider triangle DEB, you know, we can consider the sides that are of length D and Y. So basically DE and BE, so DE is of length D and BE is of length Y. So we can write D by Y and the two corresponding sides of triangle APB you know, corresponding to these two will be basically AP whose length is 4 and BP whose length is given as 5. So we can write this equation that D by Y is equal to 4 by 5. And from this, we can express y in terms of d as y equal to 5d by 4. Next, we consider triangles GFC and the bigger triangle APC. And 
in the same logic as before these two triangles are equal because one of their angles is 90 degrees for each of the triangle and the other angle and that's angle c is basically common to both of the triangles right so that will make triangles gfc and triangle apc similar to each other and again from properties of sides of similar triangles you know the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal so we can write this d by z from triangle gfc and the corresponding sides from triangle apc would be ap which is equal to 4 and pc which is equal to 3 so we can write d by z is equal to 4 by 3 and from this we can express z in terms of d as z is equal to 3d by 4 so now consider the sum of the lengths BE, EF, and FC. So that's basically Y plus D plus Z. But that's equal to BC, right? The sum of those lengths. And what is BC? Well, BC is also BP, which is 5, plus PC, which is 3. So basically, we can write this equation, y plus d plus z, the sum of those three lengths will be equal to the length of bc, which is equal to bp plus cp, or pc, right? And bp is 5, pc is 3, so 5 plus 3 makes 8. So we can write y plus d plus z is equal to 8. This is from simple geometry. Now... In the previous steps, we have already obtained y and z in terms of d. So we just make the substitution here. We have obtained y is equal to 5d by 4, and we have obtained z equal to 3d by 4. So we can write this equation. Now we have basically reduced this to one variable. It's very simple to solve for d. From this equation, we basically end up with 3d equal to 8, from which d comes as 8 by 3. And then, what's the area of the square DEFG? Well, it's simply the square of its sides, right? So, it's simply D square, and D square is 64 by 9. So, the correct choice, or the correct answer to this question will be option B, 64 by 9.